Hi, I'm Rich Strum. I'm the Director of Education at Fort Ticonderoga, and I'm the Project Director for the NEH Landmarks of American History and Culture Workshops for School Teachers at Fort Ticonderoga this summer. Hello, my name is Wendy Lockard. I'm an 8th grade teacher at St. Jerome Catholic School in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I teach 6th, 7th, and 8th grade language arts and 8th grade U.S. history. I am so happy and proud and appreciative that I was accepted at the NEH workshop here at Fort Ticonderoga. I learned so, so much. My scope of learning just expanded so wide. I have so much to bring back to my class to enhance my lessons. I was thoroughly impressed with the scholarly lessons and the presenters, the field trips, and of course the facilitators who are so wonderfully accommodating and I just know that I'm going to have a lot of interest in my classes. Thank you. My name is Skip LaRue. I'm from the, a coastal town in Maine called Booth Bay. I teach U.S. History 1, U.S. History 2, AP American History, and American Government. Um, I found out about the program here at Fort Ticonderoga through the NEH site and signed up for it and been having had a blast this this past week. I have learned so much new material that I can integrate into my uh, all my classes, whether it be AP one, whether it be AP U.S. History one, U.S. History two, or the American government. Um, where we're standing here on the grounds of Fort Ticonderoga is sort of a pivot point in the in the history of the United States, and the knowledge that I've. I've learned here I can incorporate in to augment my studies and to bring history to my students and make it more alive. My name is Valerie Carnavale and I am a 7th and 8th grade U.S. History teacher from Rhode Island. I think weeks like this are important first of all for the collaboration with other teachers. It's really great to find out what is happening regarding history in other parts of the country. It's also really important to have experiences like this to be able to assist my own comprehension of historic events so that we're able to bring the story more alive for our students. It's really great to get primary sources to be able to use in the classroom and to have these discussions about how to use these sources and really the overall experience um, to be able to bring into the classroom for our students. It's actually been a great pleasure, if not uh, a joy if, on my part, to be a part of this NEH uh, Landmark uh, Series Teachers Conference. Uh, I found the teachers to be very, very stimulating and very, very receptive uh, to my presentations, one on the Six Nations and the Revolution, and one on Benedict Arnold, the real Benedict Arnold, who uh, is the person we really should be trying to get to know. And uh, I, I, think it's, I think it's great that these people can come together and they can really activate their minds and learn so much about America's past and this kind of an, just incredibly beautiful and important, historically significant and important setting. And uh, I found the teachers to be, as I said, uh, very, very active, very, very responsive, and I think a lot of good work will come out of them, will come out of their efforts, and will in turn be delivered in the classroom uh, at all levels, primary, middle, and secondary. And for me as a college professor, that's important because it's one thing to write a book that people may or may not read, but it's another thing to get in direct contact with people and to share ideas and concepts and approaches to history that may have a very, I would hope, reasonably long life in the classroom uh, and lead to a population that is just better educated about Americans' past than perhaps has heretofore been the case.